Hey all, Professor Sorry here with the first episode of Sorry Tutorials, a show that will hopefully give you some tips and tricks to elevate and legitimize your toy photos. Today we're going to go over one of the basic fundamentals of cinematography lighting, three-point lighting. As I'm sure you can guess, three-point lighting involves three lights, a key light, a side light or fill light, and a backlight. This is the lighting scheme in one-to-one -one scale. Thanks Intelligence Elf, but let's look at how to achieve this kind of three-point lighting in one twelve scale, shall we? For this setup, I'm going to use these three lights. Links to all these lights in the description below. The Aperture Amaran LED Mini Light, the Ulanzi U-Bright LED Video Light, and the Discontinued Loom Cube Air. Man, I missed the Loom Cube Air. I'm going to use the aperture light as the key light. The key light is the main frontal light that illuminates your subject. This light is usually a soft light, meaning that diffusion is normally used to soften the shadows of the subject. Now I'm going to use the Loom Cube Air as my side light or fill light. It's called the fill light because the light is literally used to fill any unwanted shadows that are cast by the key light. This light is usually softer or less harsh. Now for the Ulanzi. The final light in our three-point setup is a backlight, sometimes referred to as the hair light or edge light, or my favorite, the kicker. The kicker can be placed directly behind or to the side of the subject as long as it creates this edge around it. This edge helps establish a distance between the subject and the background. Using a backlight makes it much easier to follow or identify your subject in the shot. A key light, a fill light, and a backlight. A key light, a fill light, and a backlight. Now while most of the lights I've used are reasonably priced on sites like Amazon, in the event that you don't have these kinds of lights, you can actually use lights around your house. Here's just one example of me using three desk lamps that I purchased at a thrift store. A key light, a fill light, and a backlight. A key light, a fill light, and a backlight. It's that easy. Now this lighting technique is really just the foundation, the jumping off point for photography and motion picture lighting. It can often be described as flat lighting, and we don't like flat lighting. But once you've gotten comfortable and mastered this technique, you start taking bigger risks. Risks like one-to-one -one ratio lighting, which we'll discuss if you guys are interested in more videos. Hope you found this video informative and helpful. If you did, please like and comment on the video, subscribe to the channel, and follow us on Instagram at TR4K Alliance and TR4K Academy. And let me know if you'd like to see more of these videos by direct messaging me at sorry TR4K on Instagram. Till then. Hey everyone, Intelligent Elf here. If you enjoyed this video and want to shoot your own three-point lighting setup, be sure to use the hashtag TR4K underscore three light potluck to have your chance to be featured on our Instagram, TR4K Alliance. We cannot wait to see your shots. Happy shooting, Earthlings!